planet Earth, our home in this life, gigantic for us, tiny compared to the universe, and yet, being inhabitants of the world and living together with more like us, it seems that we tend to divide ourselves, by communities, by ethnic groups, by countries. What would it be like in a world where borders don't exist, that we simply consider ourselves inhabitants of the world? Even when we don't want to, we are part of a community, including us as furries, and although we are still human, we decide on our own to choose being an animal species, existing or fantastic, and we turn it into a cartoon which we appropriate with the appearance and form that we want. We make it totally our own. We wear a mask with a cute or an epic face, to be able to be happy and escape our reality. But by feeling comfortable with who we choose to be, and not being afraid to hide or express what we want to be, we end up being ourselves, authentic and honest. Each of us so different from the other, in personality, where we come from, where we are going, and who we are. But in the end, we all connect because we know that we can be a great family without judgments or prejudices, all different and accepting each other. I know that what I describe sounds like something utopian and unattainable, but deep down in us that's what we want, and that is why we are here, that is why we want to get out of our reality, by creating a cute, epic, attractive, colorful character who represents us. And that's why we look for more people who understand us and who we can trust. Because we want to feel that connection. And I know that I may sound naive, but it is something I have faith in. Because nowadays we can have friends no matter where in the planet they are, breaking borders, being open to different cultures, to different thoughts, open to acceptance. That what we knew growing up in our town is not the only thing that exists that our thoughts and opinions are not final, and that we will never stop learning, we will keep experimenting, we will keep meeting people, to leave things behind and welcome the new. Let's be kind to what's new for us.
Why a map of the world? Since I was a kid, I have been attracted to maps, maps of all kinds, theme park maps, cities, museums, and I could stay for hours looking at an atlas of the world. Exactly a year ago, I had the idea for this project, a world map without defined borders, made up of many personas. At that time, the world was experiencing catastrophes and society was going crazy. Social networks became a very uncomfortable place and that many of us preferred to avoid. I really wanted to do a work with a message that could transmit something positive. Back then, I made a post on Twitter, asking people to send me the reference of their personas, also asking them to tell me what part of the world they were from. I received around 1,100 comments from all over the world. It was quite difficult to choose only 60, which was the amount that I originally planned to include. So later I decided to increase the number to more than 100 personas, choosing them especially for shape and elements that I could use perfectly as puzzle pieces. I know personally many of these people, but more than half I don't because I wanted to give a chance to those who I had never drawn before and I didn't want only to include my friends or people with whom I had interacted. In fact, I didn't include any character that I myself had created. And even this project was a surprise and I didn't mention anybody who I was going to include, I had their permissions to use these characters under that tweet. I had said I wanted to do something awesome with their reference related to a world project and I don't plan to make any kind of profit with this. I just wanted to give a positive message.
it was difficult to plan the composition, but once it was figured, it was quite fun to be sketching and coloring each of these characters. It was important to me to know from which part of the world each one of them came, because if you are a very good observer, I tried to ensure that none of them were placed in their country of origin, mainly to reinforce this idea that we are actually inhabitants of the world. And it is nice to not lose track of our roots, and understand where we are from, but also to be open to the fact that even if we could be far from our origin, we are still at home. Another point that you may have noticed, the continents are reversed as they are regularly presented on most of the world maps, where the American continent is on the left, and Eurasia, Africa and Oceania on the right. It is a fact that Asia and America are connected, and for a few kilometers, by the Bering Strait, thus creating a connection that is often ignored when it is a bonding opportunity. I know that my dreams are utopian and that they might sound ridiculously optimistic, and that we will probably never reach a sweet spot in humanity. But if we stop dreaming because we think our dreams are ridiculous, when will we give this world a chance to improve? It cannot be improved with hatred and worse. It takes with perseverance, education, dreams and union. Yeah, I'm cheesy, I know. That's why I don't usually explain my artwork this much. I prefer to simply show them and have people interpret whatever they want. Because that's what art is about. Creating emotions and feelings. But that in the end there is no correct or definitive meaning. Because everyone gives their own interpretations according to their experiences. But it is always interesting to know what other people think of each work. And without judging them by their interpretations see from other perspectives something that for us could have meant something completely different. Because not only art is like that, that's how life itself is. Everyone has different perspectives, and you have to understand and accept that everyone has different point of views and opinions according to their experiences. And we can learn from these different perspectives, just as others can learn from ours. But it doesn't mean that someone is right or wrong. It is accepting, learning to be empathetic, compassionate, and accept that we live in a fairly diverse world. Part of the challenge of this project was precisely to record the entire process, from the sketch to the coloring. There were a few times in the process where I forgot to shoot while doing some characters, or even forgot I was shooting and didn't check to see if the lens was properly focused or framed. So I apologize if there are times when the quality of the recording at times is not the best. Fortunately, much of the process was. I never check how long I take to make a drawing. I always think that each project must take its respective time. It could be hours, days, or weeks, it doesn't matter. The important thing is the result. 
not how long it took me to do it. However, as this time I recorded the entire process, for the first time I was able to know how many hours of work I invested in this project. Well, it was 17 hours and 13 minutes of recording, however, I'm sure that there were some hours that I didn't record. So it was approximately 20 hours in total? Of course divided into several weeks or even months. The biggest challenge was to compress 17 hours of video in 20 minutes of editing. But well, I really hope you like it, the intention of this project, but as the illustration and the video is to leave a positive message for our community and for the world. I would like to know what you think, leave it in the comments. A panda hug for everyone and I really hope that you have a really great day. Love you, bye bye.